Welcome to Gravelo. We're going to take a look at the BIOS. We're going to walk through it of the Gigabyte A520M DS3H motherboard. This is going to use the F20D BIOS. This was the latest as of um, December of 2024 that I could see or that that's out there. And this has the latest, you know, uh, a, a Jesus uh, code as well as it also has the um, security flaws as well updated so you can see here we have uh, of Ryzen 5 Pro 4650G if you haven't seen the computer build it, that I don't know what order I'm going to put these in but that will be out either before or after this video and you can you can take a look at that it's in a uh, Leon Lee case uh, MATX board not bad I, I actually am impressed with this you know I wouldn't maybe put a 16 core in but overall if you're going to run something in that 65 watt range this seems like a pretty reasonable board so far I have 16 gigs of RAM here as you can see and I got the XML a, XMP profile on as well this is right now, we're just looking at the easy mode. You can see the frequencies and stuff up here. And then no SATAs, PCIe, it does have one, PCIe 2 by one This is the wireless card. There's no graphics card plugged in. And then it has a 990 EVO, two terabyte in there. I got Windows installed so you can see the boot manager. And then you can also see the fans here going. It's actually not bad very quiet I've ran prime 95 for over an hour doing a maximum heat over uh, there what is it the smallest FFTs or small one of those two and it did a really good job you have Q flash here if you hit that that'll take you to if I hit this it takes you to the Q flash you can see there if you have a USB this is where you go to f flash that put the your bios on the USB you click update bios and it'll walk you through I do have another video, I think, on that. If not, I'll, I'll make another one. Here's a load of optimized defaults if you want to do that. There's something not enabled. There's what you can do. Save and exit is some bottom F10. They also have favorites. Uh, let's see, smart fan. You can see you can be able to tune this if you want. So you select you know, your temperature, your fan input, and which fan, fan, which fan you want to do to select now this one only has two fans or two system fans and one cpu fan so if you if you watch my build you'll see how i how i set that all up and then you get the fan, fan speed here works quite well uh, and on other systems that i've used there's also uh language and then your help here but let's go into the advanced mode because I think that's what a lot of people are going to... If you're going to tweak this, I don't know how much tweaking it is because this is a A520 board. This isn't like the B or the X series motherboards. And this is a little bit older, right? This is all AM4 here. So here's your you know clock control, your spectrum control. And that's auto, enable, disable, right? Uh, then you have your just your fine tune tuning. Let's see what they got. They got core performance, uh, visualization, SMV, cool and quiet, your C states, power supply control, uh, down core. So basic stuff. XMP profile. You'll notice I I don't believe that this has a whole bunch of over overclocking options because it is an A520 board. If I recall, I I usually stay away from these boards in general but you know this was sent to me by a viewer and this pc is going to be given to a family member a little pc I th they need an upgrade so i wasn't too concerned i'd be since i'm doing this build i'd be perfectly willing if this was an option for somebody they wanted to get into you know have a computer or something like that and they wanted to build it themselves or build it for a family member this is a perfectly good option especially for those that aren't going to be overclocking and if you put let's say an x3d in here i think it'd be a really good kind of gaming rig but you have your system memory multiplier and all these are going to be if you set the xmp profile this is what you're going to kind of a lot of these are going to be set for you your f clock frequencies and then your u clock as well and then here we have 
memory subtiming, subtiming, so you can do some of this stuff if you'd like. Memory subtiming's here, let's see. And so you can see all of that. Your speed info for your memory. Oh, press the wrong key. And you can click through actually every single one. And I think these are all the same. They look like all the same sticks. And then you have power down, enabled, disabled, and f auto. So you can actually select that. Your V core, you can actually set that. Uh, v core SOC. And then these are all your voltages, DRAM voltages. You can set, oh, let's go back. CPU, here's your load line calibration. So some people will be able, they'll set this to get a little extra boost out of their uh, processor as well for performance. So this is set to auto. Again, this is going to somebody else. So this is going to stay auto, your V core SOC load line calibration. So this is, you know, basically as it's showing, right, your low, low line scaling of how it's going to go or on the graph, right? And since we're not overclocking this piece, this CPU, and as you saw here, if you compare it to some of the other videos in the tweaker, there's a lot less settings here than some of the B or even the X motherboards from AMD here. Now you got your platform power. What do you want your computer to do, right? Do you want it to wake back up or always off when the AC comes back? And this is just going to be normal. This wakes up on sleep just fine. I've tested all that out, and this board does well with there. You have all your other settings here for your power, even wake on land, hyper service and power timer events. You also have your CC 2019 ready, you know, <laughs> all your power options. IO ports. The initial display out. Now, you'll notice with this processor, I'm using the graphics card on it. I don't, uh, in the easy mode, you notice there wasn't any graphics card installed. And here we, uh, here it's just PCIe slot one to start with. It still shows up in the iGPU, but you can set this to different initial display ports, or display ports, different initial display outputs that you want. Integrated graphics is auto. Force disabled, it should be, I'm just going to leave it auto. And then audio controller is in there. You can do uh, PCI by 16 bifurcation. It's not going to be needed on this uh, computer. Above 4K decoding and resizable bar, you could also turn on here. This PC probably doesn't need that, but they are good options uh, nonetheless, especially on like, the Intel CPUs, they are CPUs, the Intel GPUs. Now, that's one feature that you want to have enabled for maximum performance, but this isn't going to have any any GPU on it. Onboard LAN controller, you have their app download, and uh, this, since Windows has this enabled, they all put it in. You can, this is a little pop up that happens whenever you log into Windows. And if you don't have it downloaded and installed or you don't say don't show again, it asks you every single time you boot into it, hey, do you want to download the Gigabyte app? <laughs> no, I don't. Serial port is enabled. USB configuration. This is all your USB stuff, legacy support. XHCI handoff, right? Masters, uh, UBS mass storage driver support. And your 6064 60, emulation. NVMe configuration, and look, it's got the Samsung drive. There you go. That's all, that's all good because that's what it, <laughs> that's what it has there. You can run the self-test options. So, SATA. If you have SATA, this is where it shows. It'll show up all your all your SATA drives. It's got this board's got four SATA ports on it. So, if that's something you want, you got the network stack. That's disabled. And then you got the Gigabyte uh, Ethernet here. This does not have Wi-Fi, so... Uh, oh, that was just I.O. ports. Whoops. I need to still go back to miscellaneous underneath settings here. Again, LEDs. 
Uh, this doesn't have any, I mean, well, system LEDs. It doesn't have RGB on this board. So there's this board is just not colorful. <laughs> you can get that. But here you go throughout those settings. And interesting enough, this does, you know, IO, MMU here, 3D Mark Enhancement, right? PCIe modes. And then you even have AMD CPU uh, T FTPM here and if that's enabled or disabled and you have your basically your trust in computing 2.0 that's your TPM 2.0 and that is all here right one requirement for Windows 11 is this and hence why this computer was being built is so that it can run Windows 11 for who I'm giving it to and then they don't have to worry about because they were asking me about upgrading stuff for it and i had extra hardware here thanks for the viewer that sent it so might as well use that instead of instead of buying a computer especially some of these pre-built that dell doesn't even allow you to i can't believe it dell doesn't allow you to upgrade the cpu on the one that they bought so yeah, Precision Boost Overdrive, this is on auto. This is some of the enhancements that you can have here on the A5, A series motherboards, which is nice that AMD has that. Again, read the warnings here if you want to pause and read the warnings. Any overclocking that you do, you're responsible for. It may disable or, yeah, disable or avoid your warranty. AMD puts that out there. I'm going to say it because I'm not going to be responsible for you, uh, you destroying your computer. M memory interlace. Then we have uh, PCI RE support. And then here we go. CPU stuff. Kind of the CPU options, you know, prefetch settings. This is more of, you know, some of uh, We didn't see this. This board didn't duplicate it. I, I feel like some boards duplicate this in another area, but here's some of the stuff if you want to change it. You know, your common options here, and you want to either disable or enable or do something with the options, you can. Most of the stuff you're going to, most people are not going to want to go into, you know, me memory related stuff. Use, use. MC common options, right? DDR4 options, kind of your timings, memory mappings. Uh, let's see. Let's do time configuration. How? Yeah, you can get in here. So if you don't have your, if you don't have like XMP profiles and you want to, even if you do and you want to tweak more, you're going to go into some of these settings and start tweaking and your power options there for all these and there, there's a just a ton of options here right this is i'm actually surprised that these are showing up here in an a series motherboard i thought amd might be a little bit more restrictive on what they put out here but as you see they got a lot of dram timings and different dim stuff and then a memory test and I, I am you you also have graphics configuration here we go so this is down to the igpu stuff that you can uh, uh you can change and let me see i'll just do auto man i thought there'd be what is this So you can set a frame buffer. Oh, I like this. So I'm guessing auto's there, but the frame buffer goes up to 16 gigs, which I hope you don't do when you have 16 gigs. But that's nice that they have that in the GFX uh, configuration. That's your graphics. Here's your audio configuration. If you're curious, that's all auto. This is, you know, more frequency. This is your F clock. Uh, and uh, again, warnings everywhere, right? You're going to mess with this. Then you have your SMU, your fan control, auto, smart shift control, and your C PPC control. So 
that's all there. So that's underneath the AMD, you know, kind of like your AMD tweaking side stuff. Uh, what did I press on? No. Oh, I went out of settings. PC health. Just the generic information of what's going on in the PC, your voltage rails and stuff like that. Smart Fan 5. We were there before. Just another way to get to it once you're in advanced. So here we are. We're done with the settings, right? You got your miscellaneous, your power platform, power ports, your basic kind of stuff. Here's the system information, kind of like the easy mode, but here you go and you have, you know, your language you can set here. Gives you the rundown of what the uh, information is. Then you have your plug-in device info. Everything that's in the easy mode just in one page. Q flash, right? We were there before. This is put the flash, put the BIOS file on a USB, plug it in. It'll show up here. You can click update BIOS and it'll flash. Then you go to boot. You have your boot options. And boot, yep, your numlock, your security mode, fast boot. A lot of time, I usually keep that di disabled. That can have issues depending upon what Windows decides on that day. <laughs> Um, your C CSM support, LAN, storage, all, all that stuff here for, you know, what you want. UEFI or legacy or disabled, right? You can have these there. Uh, where? This is let, enable, disable, fast boot. There's secure boot or secure options here. That's done by the system. Logo. You can enable, disable the logo. And prefer operating mode. Is easy mode, advanced, auto, right? It's probably, I don't know what it does, but, or which one it goes to after you've been in advanced. Does it go back to advanced? Don't know. User name and password. You can put at passwords on here if you want for what people can get into. Then you also have your save and exits. Load optimized or exit without saving. Load optimized defaults. You know, your boot override. And you can save profiles. So that is the rundown. Here at the bottom you have your help, your easy mode, your smart fan, and then your key flash. Now let's just go back to easy mode because I'll probably keep it there. But that is the rundown. Oh, there's AMD RAID Expert 2. It's off. But there's that there. And... This is the rundown, just a walkthrough. If you have questions about the BIOS, leave them in the comments below, and um, I'll be I'll try to get to them as they come in. This is not an overclocking guide. This is not anything like that. If you want to know what settings to set, you know, if enough people were there, yeah, I could go through them and maybe help you set something up there. But I do not take responsibility if something breaks as well so a lot of the stuff is you're you're tweaking on silicon that's you know unique to you they're not all silicon is the same and uh, we see that with some of the 13 and 14 gen stuff out there and how it's been failing so let me know if you have a question below and hopefully this has helped you out where to find something in the bios here you know it's it's an a520 board so it's, it's not like the b or the x from amd's series is but this still seems quite capable. So thank you so much for watching Gray Below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and watch another one of my videos. It really does help with the channel. Until next time, God bless.